it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel good buying DDR4 in 2022. The question was, does Warzone 2 prefer DDR5 over DDR4 low latency? Now, at what point do you decide to go DDR5? The, the, the quick and dirty answer is when you can get over 7500 just rough ballpark right um and then from 7200 to 7500 is a tie 7000 and slower ddr4 wins and I maybe I should say DDR4 4000. Like, because every Alder Lake and Raptor Lake will just do DDR4 4000, whatever. Even like 3866 is right up there, right? So that's what I would say there. And it's like, it kind of looks like this. Right? Um, latency. Oh, no, no, no. Frequency. Latency. and frequency frequency and ddr5 kind of does like like it's really slow at the start and then it goes up as the freak like like as the frequency goes higher and higher and higher the latency comes down because so if you look at my chip right here right uh what am i doing here where's ida so if you look at mine i'm at 8200 ddr5 divided by two because gear two this is like 4100 ddr4 so there's no there so there's no reason whatsoever not to use ddr5 now because in gear one it's the same as 41 4100 right um now DDR5 tends to, and then DDR4 does this, right? Um, it, it peaks earlier. This is like DDR4, D4, and this is like D5, right? DDR4 peaks earlier, so it's easier to get the performance out of it, right? DDR5 takes a lot more work and a lot more money to get over here, but if you actually do end up going there, there's no point not doing it and it is faster, right? That's the whole argument there. Now, see, here's the other thing. How much does it cost to get DDR4? How much does it cost to get DDR5 faster? And then what's the FPS goal? If you ask yourself, well, maybe this should be first, actually. You ask yourself what your FPS goal is first, and then you get your answer for the other two, right? So uh, if you go back to that Mutex build, everyone's like, why did he use that ITX board? Why do you think I use that ITX board? That, that Aorus ITX board is the cheapest slash fastest DDR4 board. right so why why would you not use that board right that's the thing it's not like it's not like i'm gonna go buy a strix d4 for 400 fucking dollars and then put ddr4 in it right unless it was a white build of some sort right now so let's just price this out that 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 d4 board the Aorus ITX one is $150. Also, by the way, that entire Mutex build, you have, when somebody asks you to build something for a giveaway, you have a budget to work within, right? What is the FPS goal? The FPS goal is at least 200 for this, for this giveaway PC. Okay, what's the budget? This is the budget. I'm not gonna say what the budget was. This is the budget. How do we accomplish that goal? DDR4, ITX motherboard, 
13700k that accomplishes that goal right it doesn't matter that it's not aesthetically pleasing to have an itx board in an atx case that's not the fucking point right not the point right i know the ai but you know what the ai i paid for the aio out of my own pocket though because i failed at getting somebody to engrave his logo on the pc or i failed in acquiring uh i i failed in hiring somebody to get that work done so when when everybody around you fails at getting something done you got to rely on yourself so i went and i bought the aio out of my own pocket put that on there made my own logo of his logo and put that on the screen right so that it is what it is i i i'm out of my pocket for that one but at least the guy who gets the pc that aio performs fucking ridiculously well by the way anyway anyway so what's the cheapest way to get there 150 dollar itx motherboard 200 dollar um 32 gigabyte b die that's a 350 dollar investment for 4,000 megahertz gear one that's the total investment that's what i paid for that for that pc build for for the giveaway pc 350 dollar total investment you have gear one 4000 megahertz so now what we need is 7600 megahertz ddr5 in order to beat that is that, do you see where I'm going with this, right? You need 7,600 to beat 4,000 gear one. FPS wise in Warzone 2, okay? Now, how much does this cost? I, it, it's game over. It's game over. Do, do, you see, do you see what I'm saying? Let's say... Um, 7600 megahertz ah i hate how it doesn't come up uh com components uh memory desktop ddr5 7600 dollars. the ram any cheaper ones on the ram costs more than the entire investment of the other platform. $400 for the RAM. Now, the cheapest motherboard that will get to that speed is the Z790i Edge. $385. Oh, this is a third party seller. Is this still sold out? I think it was $370 BHP photo. How the hell is this thing still sold out? Maybe that's why. Because it's the cheapest two dim that overclocks like fucking crazy. Z790 Edge. 360. Temporarily. Okay, so it's sold out. Whatever. So 360. Z790i Edge is the cheapest one. So. Now. Now you have. We're not. We're not done. We're not done. Now you have four hundred. That's seven hundred and sixty. Seven sixty dollars. Double, double the price. More than double, right? Seven sixty divided by three fifty. Two times. Two point two times the price. Two point two x the price. Okay. How much FPS do you think you're getting for that? I would say if you tune to the DDR5, you might get 50. And you have a 4090. Assuming you have a 4090. Assuming you have a 4090, you might get 15 FPS more. I would say like you're going from like 240 to like 255 let's say 20 fps let's say 240 to 260 whatever let's just say that 260 
divided by 240. Uh, 8%. 2.2 times the price for 8% performance. You could make the call yourself. That's up to you. So at what point is DDR5 worth it? Uh -huh. You tell me, man. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. It just, it's whatever. It is what it is. Right? Does that make sense? And that's also why I, I don't use DDR5 barely in uh, any of my builds. So when when um, when somebody comes to me for a build, right? When somebody comes to me for a build, um, they're like, should I get DDR4 or DDR5? I'm like, do you want to spend another $1,000 for DDR5? Usually they want the Apex or something like that, right? Do you want to spend $1,000? Uh, not really. For what, 20 FPS? Yeah, at most. Nah, I'm good. Like, like, mo like, 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 most sane people don't care about that shit. And then, and then, okay, wait, 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 we're not done, we're not done, we're not done. And then, so, long story short, 2.2 times the price, 8% performance. Now, that's only in Warzone 2. Overwatch, Apex, Fortnite, PUBG, um, League, uh, oof. what other, uh, Rocket League, Rocket League, all exactly the same. You're, so you're paying 2.2 times the price for 8% performance in a game that doesn't even let you plate while sprinting. Do you, it's up to you, man. It's all up to you, man. It's, you know, it's, right? Cool story. If you want to do, if, if, that, if that's your game, right? Now, if, if you're, if you're playing for hundred thousand dollar tournaments, like they are right now, eh, Hey, maybe man, maybe. Right. But, um, for 99.999999% of the population, you ain't doing this, right? You ain't doing this. Now, that's not including single player ray tracing games, by the way. There is an argument for that. Not, not 2.2 times the price. Um, and like Tomb Raider also benefits from that, but you're playing that in 4K anyway, though, right? Um, I would say... What was the last time I tested Spider-Man? It was like, yeah, it was like 8% again. 8% better in ray tracing. So yeah, uh, I would say 8% Warzone 2 or ray tracing. There. For 2.2 times the price. So even, even in those specific single player scenarios, you're still paying 2.2 times the price, right? For eight percent performance, something like that. I don't know the exact numbers. Just I'm going off the top of my head here, right? So yeah, there you go. That answers that question. At what point do you go DDR5? Uh, when you just feel like spending a lot of money, and you gotta know how to tune it too. And when you want to spend a lot of money and buy a consult because you're not gonna know how to tune it yourself anyway, right? It, it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel good buying DDR4 in 2022. That's that's the really the only uh, caveat to that, right? It's like, if you buy DDR4, you're not moving that forward into other platforms. If you buy the 7600 kit, you might be, you can move that forward into other platforms. Now, what dollar value do you place on that is unknown and also here's the other thing how long will that 12900k slash 13900k ddr4 platform last you it's gonna last you it's gonna last you into ddr6 man like yeah you can buy ddr5 and carry it forward but by the time you carry that forward into a new platform, DDR6 is going to be out anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a long time, dude. 
you can skip to yeah that's what i'm saying yeah that's exactly what i'm saying um you could theoretically skip the entire ddr5 generation if you wanted to so like if you already have some b die why would you bother with ddr5 right and then if you're if you're buying a new platform i would say just here it, it usually here's the here's the line that gets drawn all the time right here's the line that gets drawn are you an enthusiast that just likes the best and new shit there there dude there's a this is like literally all my consults all of them dude it, it's like some guy with a 0 0.5 kd that just likes the best shit cool nothing wrong with that but like but they're aware that like well some of them aren't like some of them are in denial but uh if you're if you're aware of yourself right um if you are bang for buck gamer or do you just like expensive shit because you it, like dude rems i think rems is still on a 10 900k dude that guy slays every fucking game what's the goal well there's no problem here right like you'll see you'll see in my cpu benchmark video the 10 900k still slaps dude I, I was using the 10 900k with a 4090 in warzone i was at like 220 fps everywhere it's like what what's the what like who cares it still slaps dude you know what i'm saying there's no goal anymore when it comes to cpus when it comes to cpus memory there's no goal anymore all right let's call it there boys